Friday morning. It's a beautiful sunny day and cross country day. There she is. Still oh, watching Downton Abbey. Oh, Bates is about to be hung. <laughs> How are you this morning on this cross country day? Good, good. We're going to take Bodie for a little walk now. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. We're getting ready to go cross country. Mm -hmm. We've had breakfast. We've had a delicious breakfast cooked by a super group. Bacon butties. Very nice. Mm, thank you very much. Here we go, looking very smart. Uh, Orange, Billy and Brody and Justine heading towards the start. I'll be handing the camera and the phone over to Charlie. He has now arrived. Look at the autumn leaves falling. Rather beautiful. Um, autumn has come with. So we've got Jill Mason, our neighbour here. Um, she's going just before me. She went quite early on. I'm working in, but Charlie's videoing. He's meant to be commentating now, but for some reason he's gone mute. Have <laughs> you got nothing to say, darling? Well, not really, no. Do you remember anything about the course? Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Um, I think we've, she's gone, we've lost, oh, there she is. And it's flat out across the top on the horizon. There we go, found her again. Um, Can you remember which fence she's coming up to? Fence three, it's the barrels. <laughs> and then fence four is the, a double of sort of angled hedges, which everyone was stopping at or refusing. So it'd be interesting to see how she gets on. Here we go. Oh. Manova that one. Yep. Jill's a little bit older than my wife. She's got more experience. And uh, well, if she gets over this, she's probably a bit better as well. I was Jill's bride me. Oh, oh. Oh. She puts three in. There we go. Well, that was lucky. Yeah. Well, not lucky, but good. Oh, here's you practising. Yeah. Pulling his back teeth out. <laughs> um. Yep. Looking good. Um, are you going to jump that? Oh, no. No, I'm just going around to jump the other You've two on an out. angle. No, I didn't present her that. Your top looks bright. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Oh, dear me. Do they have dentists for horses? <laughs> Last fence. Before I go Is this the country? country? Yeah, there you go. The horse coming. Go on, Billy. Go on, Justine. Down on a dressage of 34.6 and leads to an established BHS coach. It's a very busy equestrian centre at Hems Creek. Well, they'll be out here to enjoy themselves in this agree a lifetime equine. Go on, Justine. Bar. On an angle, two strides to this, and this one's really on an angle. I actually ran out of the first part, but you can see where you take off. How much? 
out of an angle. I had to put these um, stills in because I just love how he jumped these fences. He's so neat. He's so careful. <clears throat> um, and he was so honest because it was a big ask for Brody, and he really performed for me. I know I had an issue earlier, but he was just brilliant. And, um, yeah, God love him. No. Hi, this is Laura Aerith, who's a friend of Justine's. She, before she was married, she was called Laura Buxton. She also was one of the nutters that lived up at Ruth's. Here we go. Oh, big drop. And, uh, oh, look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Nice pat down the shoulder. Um, and now she's heading off to the, uh, the log into the water. This is her first horse that she was lying first as the dressage on. How was she? Yeah. Oh. Right. And then this is her one that was in my section, I think. Already. Here she comes again. Um, takes the same line. Yeah, lovely old job. Three strides and up and over. We're having a post cross country catch up. Laura's just telling them that she got eliminated on her first horse, but everybody that gets eliminated gets a free crate of beer, cider, or a bottle of vodka. So she's trying to decide what to have. So we've got the commentator, Super Groom, and the proper Super Groom over there, Becky, who is grooming for Laura. Going to feed Brody, but they're still nattering, all of them. It's been a great event, I've loved it. So we are now post uh, cross country day. Yeah. The two of the old ladies. No, what do we call them? Old well, ladies. Yeah, the old lady. Two of the old yeah. ladies. Oh, yeah. Really old. Stuff, three, two of the three amigos. How was cross country day? Good. Joe went first. Uh, I went first, and he went clear a bit stuffy at the beginning and uh, a bit clear. Uh, sadly, I got 5.6 penalties which makes a huge difference and has dropped me completely down the order from uh, eighth from eighth to about 29 what, what, what were the penalties for time time, time. Oh, okay. uh, well, you went too quickly no. too slowly oh. yeah but as we know there's been at least 30 eliminated in yeah and he hasn't run for quite a while and he's a stuffy little horse and yeah he just and if you look at the stats in the course, jump four caused huge problems. Jump six and seven both had problems. Oh, did they? Oh, mm. Yeah, yeah. It was in, I don't know where she got the stats if from. You look it's on, really um, interesting. If you look on... Which is eventing? No, the other one. Eventing scores. Eventing scores, you can yeah, see the stats yeah. for the thing. Yeah, yeah that was, but that the was point good. is, the good people go clear. So I didn't go clear. Yeah. I, I know you did, but I mean the people in the lead, the top, the top people. Yeah, it, which you'll be next year. I, I mean, but um, that's it. Do you want, do you want a little uh, shovel? Shall I shut up? Yeah, to get you out of your hole. Just see how did Brody go? Brody oh, was a star. Um, I I had a run out at fence four, which was it was difficult fence four. It was meaty, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, my horse is a lot older and more experienced, and he really and you were head girl, remember? And you were head. And he, he put three. And he, he, he in it, really didn't he? looked at it. Did a huge jump and shortened, and we put three strides in. Yeah. I yeah. Saw that. And I have to say. Brody looked, it was just a baby It runner. was, it, it, literally. She, she rode it brilliantly and couldn't have done any different. And the second time round... He jumped it well. He jumped it, it well. Yeah. From that angle, please. He so literally, uh, he literally, I continue think... Continue the interview. You know when you normally, when you run out and you go, oh, fuck, I've, I've, you know, you've, you've made oh, a mess I, or I whatever. I wouldn't know, actually. No. <laughs> but no. I didn't feel that at all. I just thought he genuinely didn't understand yeah. what it was. I think it was like, what What am I well, meant to be doing? And I circled round and then he jumped it green. Can we but move then the on, rest of the ladies? Course, so we'll be here forever. Oh, the rest of the course, he went really well. Yeah, well, yeah. I thought you, the whole yeah. point of the rest of the course. Yeah, but, and yeah. the rest jumped brilliantly, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, there, there you go. We were discussing earlier that we were going to discuss. You just got the wine bottle in there. No, about your badminton and birdie careers. That's what was we were meant to discuss. Oh, is that where we were going? Yeah. Bygones. Well, we don't have one. Bygones.
and we don't have a badminton career. I once got eliminated on uh, at badminton, and as I was walking back to the lorry, this little girl stopped me and said, "Excuse me, can I?" Um, uh, so she got an autograph book, and and I said, "Are you all right?" And she said, um, "Can you? Do you know Mary King? Can you get her autograph?" <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll give that a go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hmm. I, I never got very far. I, I worked. Well, you both out. went round Burley. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, we both went round Burley. Yeah. Hmm. Don't you ever point that at me, Giles. Uh -oh. I did Burley three times. Was that all bullet? Yeah. I, I had a stop the first year. I came 18th. Because I year, remember when Bullet was third. on the yard and yeah. owned by Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. And she couldn't get on the horse. No. She had a terrible time with it. He used to throw himself on the floor. He, yeah, he was such a difficult horse. And you couldn't mm -hmm. catch him. What? You'll probably edit that out with you or not. No. 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 Uh, and yeah, on the end of the day, when you had him, you and Steve and everything just got the key to him. Yeah, and took he me was, ages. He was until, until, yeah, but he until was, I was thirteen before I could actually. <laughs> yeah, but it was worth it. I had to get on a I'm certain not way. Yeah, no, but it might oh, do. Maybe yeah. we haven't been filming all the way. This is Let's start um, again. Take two. Sorry, no, when right. I came to Ruth. So when you came to Ruth, yeah, uh, you had Pippa. Yeah, and we, we, there were lots of good people there. Yeah, yeah. Riders. No, no, no. Ben was sent with his his horse. Cobbs. Yeah, he, the, 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 I broke it he in. He clipped it. No, no, um, oh God, I, I, uh, I, I Womble. 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 Womble, because I rode Womble. Yes, you did. And, um, and Ben Alders and, um. Dickie Alders. Yeah. Yeah, Richard. Richard. Yeah. Uh, yes. So, so, but they all came, all these teenagers came with their horses and you just came as a groom. And yeah. Ruth would not give you, a, a, you know, a horse to, no. I mean, only at some time. Which gave me some time. Some time. Couldn't which is, move. Which is went, move tiny like that. little. Move yeah. like that. <laughs> yes. I yeah. want a three day on that. Yeah. I mean, how good's that? Yeah. Yeah. But she she was not, you know, because everybody else was coming and paying and doing this. So you were, in, in because Pip was there, I was there. So we had the, like, the night horses and you were just given, like, the dregs that nobody else wanted. To I know. I know. So <laughs> flossy. Yeah. I, I, I don't know whether I can say this on camera. I'll get it. Uh, down the road. And when I got back to the yard, Ruth said, Justine, I'm a little bit worried. I think you've got a hot bottom because Flossie was the yard plod, yes. wasn't she? Yeah. And she said, I'm a little bit <laughs> worried because apparently you must have a hot bottom because Flossie was bolting with you. <laughs> I don't know I can say that. <laughs> Uh, and then you might get banned. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Don't know. What's about to eight? quarter to eight on day three. So we set the alarms for half past six, had a cup of coffee and a cup of tea at the bacon butty. Mucked out. Now Justine's plaiting up for the trot up. Why is there a trot up? Uh, so what do you mean why is there a trot up? So well, they check all the horses are sound. But why don't they do that on a one day? Because well, you, you, you dress us, you pulled up with you if you were lame. Mm, that's true. So, shut up. So, she's got to wear a sparkly outfit. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got sparkly boots. Sparkly boots. But you have to have a tidy outfit. Explain to your people. Well, you have to be smart and smart. present your horse in a smart manner. All plattered up again. Yeah, and then I'm going to show them. <laughs> not happy next door. Uh, I'm plattering and um, show them at 12 12.36. And then we'll be going home for a nice hot bath. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling a little bit grubby after day three of camping. Um, <laughs> I wish you would shut up. I've just um decided next season if i'm still in, in the employment of mrs ward i'm going to do the plaiting but she's a bit particular <laughs> there they are dewy autumnal morning 
waiting for the trot up. They go through there, through the woods, and then they have to do a trotting up here. Here goes another one. Number two. Here we go. It's Brodie's first trot up. Number two nine set. Justine Ward presenting Billy Brodie. Good boy. Okay, we're waiting. have to drop. He's going to poo. Brody accepted. There we go, clever boy, all accepted. That means he's sound Number and ready three, three, to nine. go on Jessica Thomas to the show jumping. Number 288, Jimmy Mason presents the Trinity O'Reilly. Trinity are really accepted. Or of next, uh, next set of Higgins Arrestus, number Spiders. She's about to walk the course. I don't do spiders. Late morning, day three. Yep. I've now had my pizza. You've had your pizza. Was it nice? Mm. What do you think of the course? I don't know. I've got to see it yet. Yeah. It looks all right, but I quite like to get on and walk it so I can then get on it. There's quite a crowd growing here now. Mm. Super grooms getting him ready. Just about to get on. Here we are at the show jumping, the third discipline today because, um, well not today, first discipline, but third discipline of the event because it's a three day event. International, as you can see, the flags are flying in the background. We've got the uh, British, Australian, Brazilian. Um, I think there's the Italian. And French, I think. Um, so it's well supported internationally, and uh, yeah, here we go. He's looking very smart. I'm actually not here today because uh, I had to come home. Um, the more and more bottles of wine that got consumed, uh, the more and more the chat reverted to the uh, horses. Actually, I kept it was on repeat after a while. So anyway. Lovely jump over the first. Tight turn into second. Yeah, ooh, yeah. Um, as you can see, Justine's got some spangly new britches um, from uh, one of the horse requisite shops. Never ceases to amaze me how much money they uh, seem to charge for the equipment. But uh, there we go, such is life. Um, here we go, yeah, he seems to be going uh, really well, especially after 
doing the dressage in the cross country full of beans as you can see he's um it's not the easiest of rides but uh clears the jump by by quite some margin um justin's quite handy with her hands but uh i'm sure we'll work on that during the winter um on the whole she she tends to, oh look at that lovely old stride um yeah anyway uh well done not many clear hands and i think she's clear Fantastic, Rudy boy, and Jesse. And we are now on our way home. Exit signs. Exit, exit, exit. Oh, so you got to say for your four days, three well, day international. All, thank you very much for helping me. Well, it's been my pleasure. And uh, you're a bad influence. <laughs> and you're always welcome again. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, and it was good. I was, I was chuffed, really. He showed up lovely, did a lovely clear out. Um, it's a pity we had that run out, but it was it was just a green run out. It's not. I'm not worried about it. Um, I just don't think he understood what the fence was. And then when he did, he jumped it lovely, and he jumped the rest of the course. He was mega, and it caused so many problems. So um, you know, and it's this is his first season, so. You know, this is probably more than what I would have expected to have done. So I'm, I'm chuffed to bits with him. Absolutely chuffed to bits. Good. And is he now having a holiday? He's having a holiday. He's going to have a month off and then possibly... Um, and then I'm going to get him in because I want to do some work on his flat work in the, over the winter um, to really sort of get... get running for next year. That's you, are you going to take him hunting? I might do, yeah, I might do, because he, he, he does need to be a little bit more in front of the leg sometimes, so I, it will definitely help with that. Um, so yeah, I think I will, uh, a little bit. But I, he'll certainly have an easier time. Look at the lovely cows. Hi cows. Hi sheep. No sheep, no shop. Um, marvellous. Thank you very much. Where are we? We are Osbyton. Osbyton. Thank you, Osbyton. Yeah, it was a lovely event. Be some very nice people. Be the event. You had a few fans, I noticed. I Popped did. Up. It was lovely meeting that lady from Buzzlo. Mm. Came and said hello. It was very nice. I'm okay. terrible. I didn't ask her name. Oh. Maybe she'll let you know. Look, I just have to look. The lovely avenue of beach, I think. Okay. As we leave the park, thank you very much, everybody. Bye.
So here I'm coming into the fence where we had a problem. Um, in my opinion, I came in, I got a good line, I got a good stride, and right at the last minute, um, I honestly don't think he understood the fence. That's what it felt like. <clears throat> also, he was looking at the people that you can't see, but there was a hell, there was a big queue of people watching it. Anyway, I came around, represented, and um, gave him a bit of a boot. Um, and blessed him, yes, he was a bit green, but he went. Um, so I was delighted because there was no alternative. Um, you immediately went into a dark wood. And although this looks quite small, it was quite wide. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. He then ran, ran down a very steep, steep hill to this steep drop um, on a five stride to a big, wide, narrow. And he was mega at that. Um, <clears throat> this water was very spooky. But he, again, he was really good. Oh dear, my voice is terrible. Um, that was quite on an angle into a wood. This was spooky. It was a witch in the middle, um, angled to two skinnies in a dark wood. He came out of the wood <clears throat> to a trachana, big ditch underneath, jumped that lovely. This was quite small, but then you ran up this mound and this was on quite an acute angle coming down. Um, but he was very good. He'd really got into the flow now um, and was making everything feel really easy. <clears throat> God, I apologise for my voice. Um, this was big and wide. He flew this and then you had a tight turn. And these were on quite an angle. One, two, three, four, yeah. Good boy. And then you ran into the water. This was quite simple, but there was a lot going on. And you just had quite a small log in the water. <clears throat> I slightly hooked. And he didn't jump at the best because I was pulling too much. Um, um, again, this one you can't see, but the tree was more overhanging than it looked. But he jumped it nicely. And then I saw a good stride for the next one. Jumped that really well. And then here he stands off it a bit. He just says, come on, mum, leave me alone. I can do this. And then they miss out the last fence. Um, but it was a nice fence and he jumped it well. So we're home. And we're home in time to turn Brody out in the field for... A little while. So he can have a roll. He was a very good boy. Oh, oh, we're stuck. <laughs> He's so tired. He's all quite tired. Get over. Oh. Oh, I have to see the other side. Oh, which way was I? Hey, good boy. So look, we come home, Maddie's. Maddie's on my horse. <laughs> yeah, what, what are you doing on Jess's horse, Maddie? How was he? Hey, good boy. Well, we're back home. There's two blurry glasses of wine in the foreground. I can say there's been quite a lot of that for the last three days. <laughs> we're home. Brody's out in the field. Cheers. Hang on, cheers. I can't do cheers. 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 Thank you for having me as oh, your group. Thank you. For it's been a lovely journey. It has been very good. Good end of the season. End of the season and we'll be back next year. What do you say at the end of your vlogs? Uh, if you like what you see, if you like the vlog, <laughs> give me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. Cheers! I think you'll find it one of the best vlogs yet. <laughs>